When you're going to the parts store in a early 90s Accord. Classic. <laughs> and the timing belt breaks. And I grab one. Like I just upgraded like a hundred years of technology. <laughs> that car is super old. I like that car though. Like it feels like doing? like awesome, like the 90s, you know. And yeah. it's like comfortable seats. But getting back in this car is such. Didn't your life just change? Like right now? Like watch. <laughs> yeah. Fast forward like 20. Years. Just soak it. In. Just soak it in. Soak it in. Like it's ridiculous. Hey Yari. Yeah. Uh, so what the fuck? What happened? <laughs> that sucks. With my car? Yeah. yeah. No. He's ready to put his other uh, motor in, so. Bro, this is the best, this is the most excited I've ever been about <laughs> fucking up a motor in my life, yo. Like, I don't think at I've ever least, done. At least this time you were prepared. <laughs> yes. How many other times can you say you've blown up a car where Never. you were like super prepared for it? Not, not ever. <laughs> How come your car is going on the lift? Because we are getting ready to take the engine out and drop the F20B in it. But why are we putting it in right now specifically? We still have a time machine. Oh! No. <laughs> So, let's see what happened the other day when we were driving. What? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, what? Did, did somebody eat your timing belt? I know you like these shades, though. Anyway, I'm going to pull this front bumper off, get some of the radiator sport stuff and the power steering out the way, then we're going to push it outside, and we're going to go ahead and power wash it. That way we'll be ready to weld in some holes, shape the bay, move wiring for tucking purposes, and just go from there. This, we got these uh, awesome Honda CRX seats. Adjusting your seats. For super comfy uh, lounging interviews. I know somebody that can make these with bases. I was about to say you probably need some probably weld on some metal bases. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting about this car. It looks really good low too. It does look really good low. Very streamlined. Mm -hmm. Straight clean lines. So I guess that's what you're going for. Yeah. Straight clean lines, simple, a little bit older, it's easier to deal with electronically and parts aren't super expensive. They don't make everything for this car, but a lot of stuff they don't make we can definitely, you know, fabricate or get around. We can use certain things that they use on Civics and other cars. It's different. It's not a Civic or a hatchback. Different is important, especially these days. Though. There's there's been so many similar cars built. I mean, there's good reasons those cars are really popular. They're yeah. light. They they swap over really easy. We're definitely gonna have different set of challenges and hurdles with this car. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I don't know. I think the end result could be super good. We can uh, that motor that we're putting in the F20 boosted a little bit of you know a little bit of boost on it and like a good clutch and some basic stuff i think 400 is totally achievable we we'll just have to see so our our next step obviously we push the car out we power wash it we, we clean up the paint in the bay as much as possible and make sure we got all the little bolts and brackets and clips and stuff out mm -hmm. and then think about the motor going back in where it's going to sit what's going to bolt up um, and then we could if there's still too many holes for the look of it, if you want it to look really nice, obviously we can we can get some you know metal and fill those holes in mm -hmm. and grind it down, and then we just have to fill it with that 
that spray primer before you take it to the paint guy. Okay. Hey Ari, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Cleaning the bay so we can paint it. Can you make like engine noises for me? <laughs> give, you, give you my best attack. <laughs> Uh, do you remember that Porsche we did those exhaust tips on? That's this guy's over here. The pressure washer ran out of gas. <laughs> uh, he's forcing us to take the 911 to get gas. The bad part is... Yeah! This guy's driving. <laughs> trying to get the bay to look really really good you know one time do it right and then from here on out we can just work on performance mods and we can get the car to go really fast uh, we're really hoping to move the AC and remake AC lines uh, that tuck completely out of the bay and we may even do some special stuff with that in the front depending on uh, materials that we get our hands on but we want this to be clean and fast and functional and kind of drive really nice and stick with kind of like a stock look as far as cosmetically on the outside. So what's coming up next? What's coming up next? Um, next week we need to work on your motor a little bit. We've got to put the balance shaft elimination kit in this. Um, that's about it. We've got a new water pump, new timing belt, a uh, new timing tensioner from Kaizen Speed, and uh, we've, got a, we've got a clutch coming. Um, we've got you a four bar map sensor, since the map sensor on this broken anyway. Uh, we've got to work on your ECU, get that chipped and ready. Uh, we got to fix up your harness, make sure everything's ready to go, and then motor mounts. We've got to figure out some motor mounts so we can drop this thing back in. Yeah. And uh, then we should be good. So we got our work cut out for us next week. We'll try to get as far as we can, but mostly we'll work on the motor, try to get that prepped and ready, and try to get this off to paint and body, and uh, maybe we'll show some of that next week as well. <laughs> 